Hello there, and well, welcome back to my basement. And once again, this power supply. You see a number of the videos you can follow up what I'm talking about. Um, Bob had a question, and I gave him an answer. Be buddy, me. I don't know if you like my answer, but because it gives you more work. Uh, the problem is that uh, the setting point I have now. You are running. I have four dials here. Only three is connected. The amp. So. so current limitation is still working and this used to be a voltage setting which I torn apart and now I have two potentiometers for setting the voltage and why do I want that? well the problem is when you touch this one which is working as the original one here now uh, it is quite uh, yeah, sensitive or much coarse or rough I have 13.3 13 volts and I want a slightly bit more voltage and if I touch it it's very easy to overshoot and very hard to if we want for some reason a very precise voltage it's not easy to set with one very rough setting system and um, how can you refine that well there are the one version or the way bob wanted to do that's a multi-turn potentiometer you get further distance to turn to get a better that's one way uh, one way that's also sometimes forgotten about is a uh, use a bigger knob size matters um, a small knob like this one is very, very yeah you move it and you move it a lot of degrees or basically you turn a lot with a bigger knob you get better precision that's one way to do it but there's also the, my my stupid way which means you're gonna need to drill another hole pop uh, that's a two potentiometer setup one core setting and one fine setting uh, let's just first take a look at how it works I'm gonna test and try to get it around 10 volts like that quite easy but then this one here I can now turn and I can make it go down to let's see 9.6 volts and I can turn it up to 10.6 volt now maybe you can see what's the interface thing uh, 9.6 to 10.6 that's one volt or one tenth of 10 volt because the difference between these potentiometer is one tenth which is a 100k and a 10k potential. We're going to talk about the values a bit later. Let's turn to the middle again because this setup has a drawback. We're going to show you now. Uh, sorry, this one. If I turn it up to let's say approximately 15 volts. Oh, I'm good. 15 volts. If I turn it down, the fine adjustments. I end up at 14.4. I was at 15, and this is a tenth. So. It should be 1.5 volt up, that's 15.9, uh, if I turn it on right, I hit 15.8. And I'm going to turn this down, let's try it at lower voltage, something like uh, 6 volt or something like that. Da -da -da. Oh, close. Uh, 6 volt, main setting. So the fine adjustment should be one tenth of six volt. That's 0.6 volt. So that's plus 0.3 and minus 0.3. So you have good, should hit uh, 5.7. I hit 5.73, and on the right way, I should be somewhere around 6.3 volts. Yeah, it works. So the problem with the setup I have is that the fine adjustments. As these potentiometers are, are set up, at, this is one tenth of it once. This means that the fine adjustment is always one tenth of the setting of a coarse setting. So the higher up you are in voltage, the more voltage you are adjusting on the fine. So, well, I was just trying around, see if it's working, because I just gave a bib, a Bob a quick answer and I said, do a coarse and a fine potentiometer. Uh, and he asked why, how I got, uh, how I was, was supposed to get the values. I just took a chance, and it worked. And I'm gonna explain why I think this works. I'm not a professional. I'm just an amateur. So push this to the side, and I'm gonna look look in the original schematics for this thing, which I have over here. Sorry for the movement. Movement. Um, this is the circuit for the little power supply. Uh, the main thing in the middle here is basically a voltage reference. This center dead diode and this op amp here is circuit, so you get a fixed voltage at this point in the circuit. P1 is the voltage setting, 
So uh, what I'm doing here in original this was a 10k potentiometer and what I can see it my only thing is do is working as a voltage divider so I took a chance I had a 100k lying around I didn't have any small potentiometers so you had to choose a 100k and a 10k potentiometer so I switch out the original 10k potentiometer here for my double setup with a 100k and a 10k potentiometer so Let's see if I can move the camera again without making too much of a mess. Like that. And do not tip over things. So, I will try to make some beautiful magic drawings. But you know that these are, I'm drawing like they are on the circuit board. You have three connections for potentiometer. And the original one is very simple. Bam, bam, and that's your 10k potentiometer. Nothing, nothing strange about that. That's the original one. My solution, this course fine setup, is like this. We start at the left side. We go to my little 100k potentiometer. And the wipe on that one still goes back. And now comes the difference. I have my fine potentiometer over here. The 10K, I'm going to draw it later. And I have a further connection here, which then goes over here. Sorry for the bad drawings. And now the wiper on that one is connected to this side. So I get the same. If I connect it on the side, I get backwards work. Uh, the knobs are working backwards. So this is nice. So this is 100K. And this is a 10k potentiometer. So what this does is basically I use this. So the problem is that the total resistance cost of this one will be variable from 100k to 110k. But what but I can see doesn't affect the circuit. So I'm just manipulating the voltage divider. So the thing here is that the difference between this is 1 tenth. 1 through 10. That means that the fine adjustment will always be one tenth of the set set point of this one. Not super precise, but if you want to choose the values, that's how I did it. And I oh, maybe and yeah, I didn't have it much to choose from, so I had to take what I had in my box. So this is my version doing a coarse and fine setup for you want to receive a piece of B. I'm gonna turn it off. So I didn't lie in my circuit. Here it is. As you can see, I have my 100k potentiometer connected to the left one and the middle one. And then I have a wire over to the 10k. I have a wiper connection which shorts out part of a 10k potentiometer. And then the third connection. So. This is one way of doing it. If you have a better way, feel free to comment or make your own video. Have fun and see you around.